which is B. It is true. It is true. This document that you are seeing today, uh, Minister Wodokori, you say, well, I don't know whether this is true. This document is true. It's legit. I'm saying I want librarian to understand, you know, the AK myself will go back and forth, but this document is legit. Those that voted for Richard Kuhn, this is a legit reward. So Yeke is not lying. I want to be on the record. Yeke is not lying that this is fake. It was signed by Sylvester Grisby. As you can see, uh, whosoever signed it from the office of the Minister of State. Why did they give 4,500? Uh, when I spoke to individuals, I'm not calling names. It's not because they want to remove Funati Kofa. No. They gave this money as a thank you for the guys then to go take this coupon to JMAD and buy furniture for their offices, Mr. Dualu. My sources are representative at the Capitol building, not Yeke Koruba. So when I ask, again, I'm not calling name. When I ask people, Dr. Propla, who will pay for this coupon? It's not free. You'll go down to JMI to collect offices and, you know, chairs, furnitures. Who will pay for it? Because they say, oh, no, it's just a credit. I agree. It's a loan. I agree. Why would you term it? But at the end of the day, who's going to pay JMI the amount? So let's go down the line and see how many lawmakers voted for Richard Kuhn. Some people say 31, some people say 34. If we take the top number, 34, it will be 153,000 United States dollars. And then I ask question. If you want furniture and you think that you guys really need the furniture, couldn't you go to a library owned business? Number one. Who approved this? Is it approved by the president or just a vested great sort of state? I push and I ask them this question because I had a doubt about Yeke Koluba. I understand he went back to the store, he met the man and whatsoever. He went to the Labra National Police, it's all over. I had a strong doubt, like every one of you. So I asked people from Unity Party. The only reason why they call Yeke and gave Yeke his own is because Yeke voted for Richard Kuhn. So they wanted to be generous. So they call Yeke. I say, are you sure? They say, yes. So we call Yeke, we give it to Yeke. It's not physical cash, but it's coupon. <laughs> the man making business, that's his business. The man want his money. So where is the money coming from? It's not about, I am convinced, it's not about removing Fonati Kofa. I'm done with that, Dr. Propler, or Mr. Dwalu. It's about where's the source of this money? And why are you giving 4,500 to lawmakers? And the answer was to say thank you to those that voted for Richard Cohn. And because they voted for Richard Cohn, we want to appreciate them. So now you know the story. Because I challenge, and this is why I put my credibility on the line. I challenge the Unity Party lawmakers to say that's a lie. Because they cannot look at me to say that's a lie. I frown upon it. I am mad. Because that's not the way to do business. That's a problem. I am mad. Because I think we are on the wrong track. So for one week, I've been thinking, should I say it? Should I ask more questions? Should I investigate further? And the answer they gave me? Yep, yep. Okay, so yep. 
the answer they gave me, and that's their answer, is not to remove Fulanti Kofa, but to appreciate those that voted for Richard Cohn. So, 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 Mr. Oh, so hold, on, wait, hold on one minute. Something does not sound good to me. You know, if it was like a duck, quacks like a duck, it is a duck. So this is a corruption happening, play for play. Why would we want to give senators money for vote, for doing a job? They for voting, right? Voting for corn. Why why we want to give them money? And in the end, you know, Liberia government gotta pay. Liberia taxpayer or donors have to pay for it. So it is not adding up to me. Something is not sounding right to me. Four thousand five hundred as well, that loan, that credit, that is not adding up to me. Then for us to hear that the president did not know, I'm getting tired of that story that the president didn't know. It's it's not how why, why does he not know? You know, who's in charge? Who's disrespecting the president? Who's not keeping him informed? So those are all the questions that I have. But uh they, we shouldn't be paying nobody money to vote to do their job. Four thousand five hundred for somebody to do their job is not it doesn't sit well with me. That's what I have to say about that. Thank you very much. Well